Hello everyone! Welcome to Cooking Curbs Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to translate stuff using the Yandex Translate API. So if I type in some text, let's do I like coding, and then the language codes, which you can find in the documentation somewhere. Uh, I'm going to go EN for English, dash, let's translate into Dutch, and the language code for that is NL. And I'll click on translate. And now that is how you say I like coding in Dutch. So you're gonna need to have an API key, which is free. You just need to sign up and get your key right there, and you're gonna need the link to jQuery because we're gonna use jQuery to make our request. And then also make sure that you have a link to yandex.translate and a thing that says powered by yandex translate on the page if you're publishing your test because you have to do that according to their terms and whatever okay let's get started all right so to get started pop up in your text editor or whatever you prefer to use to write html i've got mine right here and go and copy the link to jQuery, right there. And pop back to the text editor. And now, let's just make a doc type tag for now. Exclamation mark, doc type, HTML. And now, got a script tag, script, src equals, open quotes, and paste in that link to jQuery. Perfect. And close the script tag slash script. And now, the next line, we are going to add our HTML first before adding in the JavaScript. So, text to translate colon, and then make a text area text area ID equals open quotes text close quotes close the area the text area tag slash text area okay and now type language codes colon and on the next line make an input input id equals open quotes lang dash codes, that's what I'm going to call mine, and you don't need to do the slash input because input tags are weird. Now make a button, button, on click equals open quotes translate, open parentheses, close parentheses because that's what we're going to call that function that translates the text, and inside it we'll put translate because that's an appropriate label. And close the button tag. Okay. Now, make another tag. I'm going to make mine a P. P ID equals open quotes result. This is where the text is going to be outputted. And don't put anything inside of it. Just close it slash P like that. And now, Here's something you have to do. Powered by space and then add a link tag for a ref equals open quotes https colon slash slash translate dot yandex dot com slash and close quotes. Then inside of it put yandex dot translate and close the a tag and you just have to do that so that you're following Yandex's guidelines you have to credit them that's part of their rules okay now up here add a script tag script and inside of it make a function function we're going to call it translate because that's what we called down here with the button translate 
open parentheses, close parentheses, open curly braces. And inside of it, we're going to make a variable, var. I'm going to call mine lang, the language, equals document dot get element with a capital E, by with a capital B, ID with a capital I, open parentheses, open quotes, lang dash codes, close quotes, close parentheses, dot value, because we want to get what's inside the text box, and then var text equals document dot get element with a capital E, by with a capital B, ig with a capital G, open parentheses, open quotes, text, close quotes, close parentheses, dot value to get the value of the text box. And now we're done with variables. Great. Now, dollar sign dot get to make a get request to the API endpoint. Open quotes and either paste in the link or if you want to be like me, type it out because I'm too lazy to go and copy it. HTTPS colon slash slash translate dot yandex dot net slash api slash v1.5 slash tr dot json slash translate question mark key equals and paste in your api key let me go copy mine which will be easy i can just go over here click on copy okay command v or control v if you're on windows or linux and symbol text equals close quotes plus text plus to add in the text in there close quotes I mean open quotes and actually I'm going to change these to double quotes because I feel like it and symbol lang equals close quotes again plus lang and yeah that's that that's it comma function open parentheses we're going to call our variable result close parentheses open curly braces document dot get element element with a capital E by with a capital B ID with a capital I open parentheses open quotes result that's the one we made down here this p tag close quotes close parentheses dot inner HTML with a capital H T M and L equals result dot text because that is the result text semicolon at the end of the line close curly braces close parentheses and finally close curly braces again to end the function and close the script tag slash script all right let's save that file I'm going to call it translate and I'm going to put it on my desktop save now I'm going to go back to Firefox we can close these tabs now because we don't need them now let me find the file on my computer there we go you should do that as well and just drag it into your new tab okay so here's the page now I'm going to type in I like coding and this time I'm going to translate it into Spanish so I'm going to type en-es so English-Spanish and I'm going to hit translate 
now the text should appear right there. Okay, so there's a problem here. I made a typo, and right here I accidentally put a Y instead of a T in element, so yes, that was my mistake. Save that file, reload in your browser, and now again, I like coding ENES is what I'm going to use to test it, and I'm going to hit translate. And now, right here, it's I like coding in Spanish. So. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, buy my merch, and remember, your memories.